you do have complete control, you have free will, but you have given your power away so many different ways, so many different times that you feel disempowered, you feel rejected, you feel abandoned, you feel small, you feel insignificant, you feel disconnected, you feel unworthy, you feel, uh, you feel alone, which is impossible. It is impossible for you to be separated from God. You have to put a lot of effort. You have to put a lot of energy into lack to be separate from God, which would never, ever happen. But you will be able to have the experience of that. You will never be separated from God as you are God. But you will be able to experience that idea. And many of us have come through this particular game sequence to experience that. Because what a difference, what a difference to be all that there is. Light, love, connection, abundance, prosperity, creation, and then live through the eyes of destruction. It is a fun game for a while, but it gets old as you are seeing. Many of you are exhausted. You're you're exhausted, you want to go home. And we would say in the Christian faith, that is what they are waiting on. Let me just be a good human so I can go home and be with Jesus, myself, and the Father in heaven. And we say, that's not how it works. How it works is that you decide today that you are Jesus. You decide today that you are going to live through your super consciousness and you are going to fast your subconscious. And when I say fast, I mean every time you have a thought, you are going to say, I have given my life to Christ. There is no lack. I give my whole being to the Father. There is no lack. It would only take you about three full days of living in that pattern for your entire life to shift. But as the channel was saying earlier, this is so difficult because there are many unconscious thoughts that you're having that you do not realize you are having. There are feelings that are happening in your body that you don't even know that you're having because you're not in your body. You're in your past, you're in your future, you're thinking about bills, you're thinking about society, you're thinking about your job, you're thinking about your children. So you don't even know the thoughts that your body is having that is creating on your behalf with your own free will through the manufactured systems of this hypnosis. And this is why I wanted the channel to present this class as we want to give you the opportunity to see firsthand how powerful you are. Every thought mixed with a feeling is going to vibrate the idea of ether. Now let us talk about ether. Ether is energy. Ether is spirit. It is everywhere. It is life. It is the life force of every monster and every god that you could imagine. Every flower and every thorn. Every uh, eagle and every snake has a spirit. The house you live in has a spirit. Someone created your house. Maybe it was you. Someone has created your vehicle. It has a spirit. You will see this in next week's class as I show you how to build relationships with these spirits to move the energy that you have not only harassed, belittled, and uh, uh, um, abandoned and rejected your own bodies, but you have done this to your homes, you have done this to your cars, you have done this to your bank accounts. And this is why you feel that things do not work for you because you do not live in your life. You live in a hope for a better life. You are searching for something that is never going to be found because you are creating negative things as you are searching when you do not see what you want to see. Most of you who are very analytical are are struggling with this idea of imagination and we identify with this and we have compassion. But we would say all you are is imagination, so there's no way that you would have an issue with imagination. We would say that you're just better at creating negative imaginations. 
you say, well, I, I don't know how to visualize. I don't know how to. Well, yes, you do, because you're creating your entire reality. You visualize that argument. Not only that, but you replayed it in 10 different ways. That's pretty powerful imagination. You're just more fluent with lack imagination. It's much more easier to feel, oh my gosh, look, I'm, I'm missing something here. What will I do? Let me imagine all the different things that I could do. That's imagination. Then I say, imagine that the kingdom is yours. And you say, oh, I can't visualize this. And we'd say, who can't visualize this? Because this is all you are. You are the kingdom of heaven. You are God. You are Christ. You are all of the masters. You you have uh you have dominion over the angels. Do you know who you are? To say, I do not imagine myself, we would say, who is speaking? Who are you channeling? Are you channeling your lack? Because your lack is very good at imagination. Have you decided to channel your abundance? Because you can channel any spirit you would like. So ether is the spirit of life. And you can put the spirit of life into the spirit of death. And it will be a very scary experience. As you have probably seen in some of your co-workers and some of your friends and family. Maybe even your spouse. Maybe a child. You can put the spirit of lack into anything you choose because the spirit is just the spirit. It is almost like water. Whatever you blend with it, it is going to become. And if you if you look at this idea of your thought, your thought is going to be the, that child, that seed. It has all the DNA to build anything you choose the feeling is going to be the mold so i pour the thought into a mold and it creates a chemical reaction that attracts the ether to make that particular spiritual experience and now we have a thought form a thought form can be almost like an etherical uh unseen uh energy almost like a anger a spirit flying around and then someone who is unconscious that spirit was going to move through them and speak through them and guess who they're going to come after the one who created it when you are attacked when you are judged it is a boomerang this is why we teach their mirrored consciousness so when we talk about this idea of the fifth dimension, what we are saying is this, when you listen to my story, you hear my story, what was I doing? I was not saying, okay, let's think about how we're going to feed people and then let's get a uh, gestation or a uh, germination uh, of, of weeks before I can manifest. I said, no, it is already here now because abundance is all that I see and therefore there cannot be lack someone will say no this is empty and i say, no it is not and if i say it is not and i say there is only abundance here then there is only abundance there and then because i believe so much then everyone else will believe too have you ever been so strong in one of your beliefs that you convinced others well that's how this works so when you start to master your own lack programs and you begin to fast them that is the only way that you're truly going to be able to move into your Christed nature. This is not some uh, meditation process that you do. This is fasting the lack programs within you. And once you fast the lack programs in you, well, you're going to be hungry for something. What will you be hungry for? You will be hungry for Christ. You will be hungry for God. You will be hungry for heaven. It will begin to turn you on, let's say. You are so powerful, you are creating your own poverty. You are so powerful, you are creating your own illness. God will say, you were never supposed to do it by yourself, silly. You have the entire kingdom. Everything is yours. You've never lacked anything. It's all yours, all now. You have all the ether you could ever use. You have a mind, you have an imagination, you have thoughts, you have time and space. What else? What else did you want? That is your birthright. Create whatever you want, whenever you want. And the better at it you get, the faster it will be.
The less that you have any interruptions in your belief system, the more instant your manifestations will be. The so, there are some manifestations that are happening so quick for you because you are so in belief of lack and therefore it happens instantly. See, I didn't get my way again. Well, we say, well, that one you really believed. It is so difficult for you to believe that you are abundance, that you are prosperity, that you are love, that you are grace, that you are kindness, that you are, that you are a miracle because of this body you see in the mirror, because of the story you tell, because of these parents you had, because of these bills that are heavy on your shoulders. And we'd say, let it go. See, you will play this game. You play this inversion game. You give power to it. Anything you thought, well, I have to pay these taxes and I've got to do this. Why? Do you realize that you have to do nothing except give your heart to God? But you have to create the mold and you have to create the thought form or the seed. It is very simple. It takes less than three seconds to generate a feeling and a thought that you would prefer. The difficulty isn't in this. The difficulty is in believing it and sticking with it and persisting and persisting as the world begins to chase you and tell you that you are not enough. You turn to it and say, I am God, go away. I rebuke you. I deny debt. I deny lack. I deny scarcity. If it didn't happen in the kingdom, it didn't happen. I am on I am on holy ground, no longer karmic ground. How long could you stay? How long could you keep this state of being? Five minutes? Because I will tell you, 10 minutes, someone's going to call and remind you that you are in scarcity. This is why we are here, because we are going to speak to you every day if we have to, to remind you that you are God and this is your time. You have earned this. You have earned this ascension. You deserve this. You have worked too hard at being a character of lack when you are God. So remember this idea that you believe that there is no money. You are creating no money with either. You have created a spirit of lack. And now you have to battle with the spirit of lack. So we would say, because you create, why don't you change the properties of that spirit? Say, I choose to only create spirits of abundance. And so you imagine the bank account overflowing, the body health perfect. You say, well, I don't feel that. And we would say, make up your own feeling. You are God. The body is going to feel the evidence of everything you've put it through for a very long time. You disregard how the body feels in this moment, what it's hungry for, what it's lacking. It's primitive. It's primal. It's a child. It wants what it wants. And you say, I don't want to feel angry right now. I want to feel joyful. So I am going to feel joy. And that is going to fast my anger. And you say, well, I can't do that. And we'd say, you better try. Because this game is only going to get more intense. You think it's difficult now to imagine, wait, because all the gloves are off on both sides. We are here in the spotlight, just as the other side is playing its uh, manif uh, manifestation of its experience, which is the inversion of heaven. And it is loving all the glory that it is getting through all of these high ranked spiritual beings that are believing in lack. It is a joke. How is it that someone with 25 lifetimes as a spiritual teacher can still believe in lack? Some of you, some of you have huge rankings in the spirit world. No, your ego is not going to enjoy. Your persona is not going to enjoy turning your life over to the Christ within you. But I will tell you that you uh, will never expect the joy you will feel, the peace that will radiate through your body, the abundance that will be right behind you, on the side of you, above you, and below you, at your fingertips anytime you want. When you begin to work with ether differently, your whole world will change because it was just a choice. But you've been under hypnosis that you have to do something physical reality-wise to earn. God only wants a relationship with you. That is all that the desire of your creator is. Because the sooner you connect with him, the sooner you become him. 
And then you get to have your own unique experience while you live in bliss and joy and abundance and prosperity and freedom and safety and connection. Imagine connection with no ego breaks and communication. How amazing would that be for you? It's a dream that your ego cannot even fathom because your ego was made out of the spirit of death. And you've been dragging this spirit around with you from timeline to timeline to timeline. And it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger until it feels like a monster. Each of you have a disease within your own ego consciousness. You're going to get different behavior from people because you're no longer uh, making these manufactured uh, spirits out of your negativity. This is how powerful you are. Every thought creates. You say, oh, we were made in the image of God. No, you are God. And every thought you think creates. But suffering is part of this scarcity program. You do not suffer for God. That's religion. You are God. And once you say, I am, well, you will then inherit the earth. 